day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey everybody, I'm glad you're back. Yeah, I had a, I've been out a little for a little while because I had to get my video editing tools back up and running. But it's up and running now, and I'm hopefully to be able to continue to do some productions and share the, the, the Word of God or the, the, the study that we have uh, on Sundays. Just to share. It's all about sharing. It's about whatever God leads us to. We want to share and. And you're welcome to do the same as well. You know, it's all about getting the gospel out there. And and what we talked about dealing with that everlasting fire and, and hell and the, the questions of whether that uh, is right or is God merciful concerning this eternal uh, everlasting fire. And... We, this study is dealing with that. This is part B of it. And, and what we always still focus in the beginning of this year is Philippians 3.10 that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, suffering conformable to his death. What I'm trying to say is this. We need to know him. And we need to understand that in the Bible he says... He has no pleasure in the death of the wicked. It's his will for all men to be saved. That's the gospel for us to preach. Not to condemn one another. Not to say you're going to hell. And what we talked about is that the hell is a temporary place for one thing. Everybody needs to understand that. And we'll cover that in the next part C. But the thing is, we did read in Matthew uh, 24, 41, that the lake of fire was prepared for the devil and his angels. It wasn't prepared for you. It wasn't prepared for me. You know, maybe some people got it right about the fact is that this damnation thing is, is, is not for, they don't want to accept because in their mind, in reality, God is saying it was prepared for them. But Jesus came because it, if you don't receive Jesus, then hell accommodates you. The lake of fire will accommodate those who reject salvation. And it'll be clear, and, and everybody have an opportunity uh, now, or some will have to wait for that judgment day and, and put their hope in what God will do with them. But God's merciful. But the main thing about it, we're just saying is, for a believer, if you receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior at any point in your life, hell has nothing to do with you, unless you reject it. And don't let somebody else try to tell you when you're not saved. That, that is not the case. That's not your concern. That's not my concern. My concern is you make a quality decision. The Bible said that heaven rejoices when one sinner repents. God is looking to get everybody into heaven by receiving the salvation that he has offered and given to heaven. It's a gift of salvation. We can't work it. We can't earn it. It's a gift. So what I'm saying is, just listen to the study and understand, hell is not in the lake of fire. Best of the most of all, the lake of fire is not prepared for you. It's prepared for the devil and his angels. It can accommodate you if you want to go, but it's not for you. Amen. All right. I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. God bless. Bye bye. Yes. Of anything you plan. Uh huh. But at the same time, like you said. All you do like people around here want to do, like Houston Astros, they want to take a shortcut. Uh-huh. And that's it. I'm doing everything I want to do. I didn't want to get to the headline because I'm trying to circumvent everything, and I want it all now. Mm -hmm. And like I said, don't want to follow the rules. Don't want to follow the rules, right. They all think it's a shortcut to get Uh-huh. And then that's why the penalties exist. Mm -hmm. The same thing for the afterlife. 
But Jesus said, because of Adam, y'all got, the bridge was broken. Mm -hmm. I got an exit ramp. And you just get on that route, and there's a bridge. This, there is a bridge to the Father. There's a bridge to eternal life by the Father through me. Just take your exit. And, it, it, and like I said, I like the fact that there's exit ramps all the way up to the cliff. Mm -hmm. That's the best. That's the gospel. All right? Yeah. Now, I put in here, Chris, in one of Romans 8, starting in verse 1. I'll let you read it, and I'll interrupt you if, 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 I, if I can, but if you want to yeah, comment yourself. <laughs> but see what you got to say on that. Okay. Life in the Spirit. Romans 8, 1. There is therefore now no condemnation. Stop right there, right? Greg, there is now. now Brother Jack is now. Mm -hmm. There is no condemnation. Mm -hmm. what, what, what does religion try to do? Condemn. Condemn. Yes. Put condemnation. Judge, judge, it, judge it. Try to put the guilt trip on you. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. But yet, that, that ain't the gospel then. Mm -hmm. Because the gospel said right here, Chris, and Brother Jackson said, there is therefore now. Not, 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 not yesterday, Chris. Mm -hmm. Not tomorrow. Now. Mm -hmm. There is no condemnation. Yes. See what, what Brother Jack, Chris? It says, now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Come on, brother. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And you know, one of the things about that, Chris, the fact is that when, I'm, when you were born again, what was born again? <laughs> what, what, what was born again? <laughs> Tell it. And, and, and that, it, that's what the gospel is supposed to talk about. The people need to understand. What was born again? Your Come spirit. on, man. Huh? Your spirit. All right. So what, what, what was not born again? Your body. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your, Your inklings. Come on, man. <laughs> you Your <still> urging. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So in other words, we walk. In this house, yes. that, that, that in this house dwells no good thing, yes, right? Yes. So in other words, you got a new spirit, mm -hmm. you got a soul. Some people don't want to say a soul. Okay, well you got a mind, mm -hmm. right? You got a brain, uh -huh. and that brain is, is 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 tapping into that flesh, yes, sir. right? So you got the brain tapping into the flesh, you got the spirit tapping into the flesh. The spirit is thinking of God things, but the flesh is thinking about fleshly things. Amen. Huh? Amen. Uh, so, so, so we, we, we. That's right. That's why we have to say. Could you read the next one? Go ahead and read it. Mm -hmm. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. And the law said, and I like the fact that Christ said the spirit, the law, of spirit. In other words, only. Brother, I like this. Only in my spirit, Chris, is I'm free from the law of sin and death. He's trying to say that's why I want your mind to be focused in the spiritual aspect. I'm free Amen. from the law of sin and death. Mm -hmm. I'm free from 5-0. <laughs> mm -hmm. From the, in the spirit. Yes. In the spirit, I have no issues of, of the law of sin and death. That's why he says it's better to be spiritually minded than carnally minded. Mm -hmm. Because in the spirit, in the Bible says, in the law of the spirit, there is no issue mm -hmm. about sin and death. Mm -hmm. In the spirit. That's been reconnected to God. Mm -hmm. We got to let people know this, man. Keep going, bro. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But what the law could not do. Man, you know you got to stop right there. Come, yes, Chris, just go ahead. And, you want to spout on that yourself? You can spout on that. What, 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 what are you trying to say? That's like I just said a little while ago. <laughs> what, what, like you said, what the law, the law puts you in a box. Ooh. But free will, Ooh. these urges, these Ooh. inklings in your mind want to get you out of the box. Uh -huh. And like you said, this says for what the, well, I'll say this thing, for what the box could not do was contain you. Come on. And that it was weak. Come on. Flesh. Come on. Flesh is that box. Come on. It's going to try to do everything it can. And that's what you walk in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every day, you, you, you take that flesh. You have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everywhere you go. Yes, sir. That spirit is connected to God is in a body and a transportation system that has all kinds of bugs in it. Mm. And receptive. 
to feel and come deal with woo! what's going on. Come on, those eye senses, boy. Mm -hmm. Those eyes pick up a whole lot. Yes, it do. And look, you, and, and you think about it in the, in the flash, boy. Don't don't look. It, I had a, a friend I was talking to him, uh, last night, so he he could get it. I ain't saying your name anyway, but the bottom line is, uh, if 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 the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. If you, even Brother Jackson right now, let's use Brother Jackson, because I'll tell you, I, I know I ain't been saved for some of this shit. But, <laughs> but, but even Brother Jackson, if, if a woman uh, was in the bed mm -hmm. with Brother Jackson, mm -hmm. right now, this, this, this world now, mm -hmm. and they have no clothes on, mm -hmm. If she touched Brother Jackson, <laughs> I think there's going to be some issues for her. She ain't even got to Why she ain't got to touch Oh, I know that, but see, I said, Irish Shelf was going to be no Irish Shelf was going to be in here. You got to say, no, 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 like, no, 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 no heat sensor. You ain't going to see the body. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. And then you know, you're going to smell that perfume, that smell good, all that. Come on. And then you're going to try to activate. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And, 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 and I'm just saying that so that'll be, your flesh is going to be like, I've been programmed to respond. Yes, sir. Well, let me, let me take it Go ahead, brother. a little bit more primitive than that. <laughs> um, it's just the, the mind, the carnal mind. Yeah. I was watching a program a long time ago. It was a, I think it was a veterinarian type program. To make a long story short, somebody had, uh, a, had made a cardboard construction of like a, like a, uh, a, a turkey. Mm -hmm. Another turkey ran up to it and was trying to have sex with it. Oh, okay. It and everybody was, was laughing. Yeah, yeah. Everybody was laughing. He goes, he says, what you don't understand is this is just like you and, you and me. He says, you take a book. Come on. Got some pictures in oh, it. Oh, yes, sir. Or just a drawing. Come on now. And you get turned on. Come on. What's the difference? Come That's on. all that thing is doing. That's all it's doing. In his mind. Exactly. He says, you put something on a TV. He said, man, you got that little dimensional Come thing on. right there. Come on. And you get all hot and bothered. Yes, sir. And when I, when he said that, man, I said, are you talking about clarifying That's some deep. stuff? That's deep right there. He said, it's the same thing. The he said, so you can laugh at that turkey all you want to. He said, but you, you laugh at yourself. yourself. You laugh at yourself. You yourself because it's doing it's what it's been programmed to do. Yeah. And I'm just saying is, most people have not arrived that can handle that. Don't put the Pope in a, in a nice, pretty, well, I mean, a woman. <laughs> he ain't got to be pretty subjective right anyway. Exactly. Don't put that person in the same bed with that man mm -hmm. and have no clothes on. And I say, I say, Chris, I, I, can, I can almost, I agree with the heat and everything, I can almost, I can almost accept that if you stayed on that, it, it, it's not. If you stay, if you stay on the far edges on this side, mm -hmm. <laughs> then the first time you you might still make be able, you might, you might be able to get away with it. I, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, you could. I'm just saying. But you're gonna have to put some pillows in between. <laughs> you, 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 you definitely right. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, but my point was saying, if somebody reached out and touch, oh yeah, and especially to touch in the wrong sensitive area. Yes, sir. Uh, there, there may be a problem. No, Chris, there will be, be a problem. problem. Amen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm trying to say. It's, 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 it's the, what the law could not do and that it was weak in the flesh. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. God sent his own son in the likeness of that sinful flesh. Mm -hmm. And for sin, he condemned sin in the flesh. He said, I'm going to condemn that for you. So that that no longer can stop you from getting into heaven. Mm -hmm. Huh? Because mm -hmm. I recognize you in this house. I recognize it's just like if I have a car, right? If I got a car and I got bad admission and anything else, it's just that's, it ain't, I, I'm not a bad person. The car just got issues. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? Right, right. It's just, it's just, it'll make you a bad person. You got a car and you got a flat tire. Mm -hmm. What does it make you a bad person if you're walking in this flesh? Which which dies. Amen. Which will die. Right. Huh? Right. But if my spirit is the one, huh? And it's my soul or my mind that 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 this this was it's me. And that spirit been reconnected, Chris, that bridge is no longer broken. Because I took the exit route 
And when I get to the exit ramp, that bridge is connected. And therefore, all I need to do is keep going on that road. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. Mm -hmm. If I stay on that road, Chris, even if I have a flat tire, <laughs> even if I got to push it, mm -hmm. I can get across the bridge. Yeah, because you're still on the road. <laughs> Come on. Still on the road. That's the whole point. I'm still on the road. That's what I'm trying to say. I think those little parables like that kind of help people understand. Mm -hmm. Just get on the road. Mm -hmm. and, and then God is the one that's the author and finisher of your faith. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. He's a mechanic. Mm -hmm. He'll, get you, he'll get you where you need to be. Right, yeah. Oh, great. Hey, he's a, he's a roadside assistant. If you can't, can't get the car started, he, he has a way to, he'll put it on the, on the tow truck mm -hmm. and get you where you need to go. Well, mm -hmm. I'm just saying. So, so, so that's what I'm saying. Like you said, verse three, for what the law could not do, and that's what people need to understand. Where Aaron Rodgers and everybody else need to understand what the law could not do, and it was weak to the flesh. God sent His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Go verse four. What it said that the righteous. Uh -huh. this, the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us uh -huh. who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. In other words, because see, he fulfilled it mm -hmm. in the flesh. So that we don't walk after the flesh, God is not looking at how we walk in the flesh, Chris. That's what he's trying to say. God, when God sees you, he sees Jesus. That's all he's trying to say. Now, we have a problem because when I see you, I see you. Mm -hmm. But that ain't what God is trying to say. I don't, God. When David and his brothers, when Samuel came to select the one to anoint, mm -hmm. Samuel saw that big joker over there. He, he could have Eli. I don't know which one way he said, but this has got to be the king. Mm -hmm. This has got to be the king. And, and God said, don't, don't judge that man by the outward appearance. Mm -hmm. You can't judge him by his outward appearance. How do you judge him by his outward Why are you doing that? Well, I'm just looking at, I'm just looking at the man. Mm -hmm. He said, that ain't how I look. I don't look at the outward appearance. I look at his spirit. And if you're born again, you're connected. And that's what God, God is looking for, that, that, that connection. Mm -hmm. Is it a connection? Is it, is, are these two wires connected? Is that spirit connected to life? Mm -hmm. That's what God looks at. Mm -hmm. And so God looks at you. He said, is he just connected mm -hmm. by believing and receiving Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior? We're looking at where he went to the club. We're looking at where he's a bouncer. We're looking at where he slipped up in curse. We're looking at the way he slept with a woman or drank with somebody and got drunk. We're looking at that. But God is looking at the connection. Gospel. Amen. That's how we gotta be tell people. Hell is not an issue for a believer. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to hell. Somebody said, "Oh well, I, you that is not your decision about that where that person ends up at. Mm -hmm. If that person has made a confession, and I think I put it in the next, it's coming probably next one. It's coming up. Mm -hmm. It's coming up. We're gonna finish with this verse eight stuff. But the Romans ten out of ten, Chris says this. This is a title deed. If I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus, Romans 10, 19, I haven't put that title there yet. Romans 10, 19, if I confess my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Mm -hmm. And I like the part because that goes to Philippians 3 by the power of the resurrection. Mm -hmm. If I can believe that God raised Jesus from the dead, amen, that means that same power, that same God that raised Jesus from the dead, Mm. That's the same one that saved me. Mm -hmm. You can't save me. I can't save you. I don't need to judge you. I don't have a business judging you. As a matter of fact, I was not sent to judge you. Mm -hmm. right. Was I sent to preach the gospel? Preach the gospel. I could have sworn that was the commission he told you to do. Right. Preach the gospel. What's the gospel? You ain't got to go to hell. Mm -hmm. Preach the gospel. You can be born again. Mm -hmm. Preach the gospel. You can be reconnected to God. Preach the gospel, God see you, he sees Jesus, not you. Mm -hmm. Preach the gospel, you're no longer under the law. Mm -hmm. Huh? Right. Preach the gospel that he, and I'm confident what he 
will perform a good work in you. Amen. Man, that's the simple faith. Mm -hmm. He will perform a good work in you. You know, I think. Go ahead, brother. Some, you know, it's like okay, so if I'm saved, and or you know, everybody. Yeah, no, that's all we want, right? <clears throat> why is there not maybe I I, uh, I still have my will, right? Yeah. And why am I overwhelmed by this, the will? <laughs> Of the spirit. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? The will of the Lord. He, 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 he said the spirit in it. Yeah, no, but I don't understand what he said. Go ahead. Because, go ahead. you know, it'd be, it'd be like, look, I would rather I just be overwhelmed by that, and I, I can't do that. Okay. But rather, because I'm in the will of Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. In the will of the Father, that I'm forced to go in this direction. So, because it doesn't work. That way. Okay. Oh, okay, not work the force piece or what we say. Mm -hmm. What it is is, it, it's a, right? Okay, it, put a train on the track. Come on. Eventually, down at the somewhere along the line, that track's going to split. Yes, sir. You know. Yes, sir. Well, if it splits to the right, and right. that's where that thing guides me, uh, no matter what I want to do, if yes, I'm supposed sir. to be over there on on the one on the left, I can't do it. It's right. like I'm forced. Yes, sir. But see, that is not the way we work. We can go back. <laughs> right before the train, right? As far as our behavior. <laughs> yeah. Our, our bad behavior, good behavior, or, good behavior or, or bad behavior, however one wants to, wants to put it. Yes, sir. And that's, I think, where uh, a lot of people have, you know, issue with whether or not they're saved, this question of, of going to hell. Right. Um, how is it that a person can, as he was saying, you know, we got this guy that curses. Yeah. Um, and, and he didn't say he was just all over the place. Right. He just said, yeah, man, you know, he curses. He likes sports. He was sports, taking all that stuff. You know? Yeah. Um, but wow, you know, and so that's where, however, coming to Bible study. There you go. Having, Look at that trash there. Anyway. Having um, frank discussion. Frank discussions. Helps people. Yes, sir. You, I, I mean, I, we are realizing it. Um, all the time that listen, it's the it's the accumulation of getting in this word. Yes, sir. Like this. Now I mean, I not come that, on, not that. On, come on, bro. Hey, all of a sudden you 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 just now introduced the word and you you confess mm -hmm. that you believe in Christ Jesus. Yes, and that you're not going to be saved. I'm not saying that. Right. But what I'm saying is that if you have time. Yes, sir. Then what happens is is we continue to deal with being yeah. in the world, yeah. not of the world, but right. being in the world. Right. And so I can see where people have questions like, okay. well, has, yeah. well, you know, where does this come from? See, now right. the thing is, is wait a minute, mm -hmm. he, that that one hundred forty-four thousand is being taken out of context, <laughs> and at his age, at his age, look at that, that guy's yeah. that about close to forty years old. Yeah, he, he's thinking that's it, <laughs> y'all, brother. You you messing up? He, he missed a whole he missed a whole couple of lessons. There. Exactly. 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 And he. To dovetail on what he was saying, uh -huh. that's why, and this one of the vaccinism, but I'm, I'm thinking this way, like he said, trying to stay on the tracks and all that, yeah. that's when you come up with the monastery. Yes, sir. All that stuff, because what you're trying to do is stay on the track, uh -huh. or, like you said, put the fence up yeah. to keep you inbound, yeah. but we have learned with what's coming out and all this and stuff, even though you put the hedges up, yes, sir. you protect yourself. Come on. Because if you're with all males, with all females, yes, you know, you're supposed to be limited uh -huh. on where, how far your mind can stray. It, it, like it, you just said, you still didn't shut your mind off. Yes, sir. And you still, like you said, the longer you live, you won't have to deal with battles and issues and what we're finding out yes, sir. through where all the stuff that's yes, coming sir. out through these different churches and stuff yes, like that. They mind was still wondering and yeah. they were still doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So like you say, to me, and like you said, this is a vaccinism. It goes into uh like what uh when they asked uh Jesus about the marriage and all that. Yeah. Go ahead. It, I'd rather you marry. Uh-huh. You know, then see right. thing, yeah. That's they true. do this right here. Yeah. So they put themselves in a big enough yeah. as, as being human or being and this came to me today. When I was reading up there, being of the earth, uh -huh. since your body was made by dust, yes, sir, and the earth is dirty, yes, sir. That's what call, like I said, yeah. like I said, it, it's it's foul. Yeah, uh -huh. that might be why your mind, you oh, do yeah. your mind in carnal and jacked up, right? Because the earth, exactly. And the point I'm that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm sorry, I just left y'all at. 
I didn't move the camera. Yet. I got you another one. But anyway. <laughs> But, but, uh, hey, I'll sit there trying to fix the edit that in there. <laughs> but anyway, I wish you'd say it again. <laughs> but my point is mm -hmm. that I want to put another ism on you. You got the Chris ism. Right? Right? Yes. Right? I want to put the word kiss. That's Keep it. it simple, so, stupid. Yes. Keep it simple, stupid is this. I'm saying, well, my flesh is not. The Romans 7 said, in my flesh dwell is no good thing. I need to understand that. Mm -hmm. and, but that is not going to hinder my salvation, the decision I made. Mm -hmm. But when, therefore, when he says you're operating in the flesh, I got to travel in this flesh, right? I got to, like I use the car as, a, as an example, the car has issues. Yes. Yes. All right? Mm -hmm. And the car has needs too. Car need gas. Mm -hmm. Car need oil. Mm -hmm. Car car is going to demand certain things, and you want to use the car. Right. right. Well, your flesh has different demands if you're going to use it. Right. And it even pro pro programmed to perform on certain things, mm -hmm. such as if I see the, the what I perceive as as an eight or a nine or ten or five or six. Mm -hmm. Some people would go to three. <laughs> but my flesh has been programmed. And that's going to continue to operate until the finisher, the author and finisher of my faith. God is trying to say is that he plants you as a, in the garden. He used that equation about the Mark, you know, Mark 4. And he said, you don't know this parable. How will you not know all other parables? When, before you were saved, before you became in Jesus Christ, you were uh, uh, you had other seeds that have been planted in you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. It, and the harvest has come from those seeds. It takes a while for the seed that's been planted into you in salvation to mature. Right. Mm -hmm. So we try to get condemned because. It's like, he said, like, for example, when, when a farmer farm go out and plant some seeds yesterday, he ain't looking for no harvest tomorrow. Mm -hmm. God is not looking for a harvest from, from he planted, he, the seed, a word, the word of God is planted in you. But it has not matured yet. Mm -hmm. It takes time. Right. And we have to have the patience toward one another to understand. God ain't finished with me yet. Right. Don't condemn me because I'm not where you think I should be. Right. Don't condemn yourself because you're not where you're supposed to be. Right. You made the decision mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. That's first. Everything else takes time. Mm -hmm. Let the tree bear fruit in due season. Mm -hmm. And you know the thing is, is we're going to constantly be mature. You could have Based on what we uh, are, are learning, every time we flip the pages, oh, we're, right. we're, we're going to learn more, more and more right. and more. When we talk about a relationship with God the Father in eternity, yes, sir. Um, we just haven't yet figured that out. My daughter was telling me, I don't know where she got this from. Oh, I know what it was. She, her, A friend of hers said that uh, his Sunday school teacher put it this way. If a a bird grab a single seed of sand. This mm -hmm. is how she put it. Mm -hmm. Try to imagine this. If a bird grabbed a single seed of sand yes, sir. and flew mm -hmm. in its normal capacity from here to the sun and back to mm -hmm. pick up another seed of sand mm -hmm. and flew from here to the sun and back and continue to do that until all the grains of sand on the earth mm -hmm. okay, yes, sir. were deposited upon the sun. Yes, sir. That would be the beginning of eternity. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Yeah. I said, damn. Yeah. Yes. She yeah. said that. Now, and, and, and realistically, that's not even the beginning. But uh -huh. she said, mm -hmm. if you can grab that Concept. piece of time. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. She said, you're just talking about that's the beginning of eternity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I said, okay. Yes, sir. So now that being said, right? since it really never, ever ends, and again, we don't know what those words it, it really capitalizes when we say never and or ever. Ever. 
Because we're going to constantly be learning about an, yeah. an infinite exactly. spirit. Exactly. Known as God the Father. Yes, sir. That Who is so glorified we can't even look upon it. Uh-uh. You understand? Yes, sir. You can't comprehend this universe. We can't. It's huge.